I am super excited to celebrate Halloween 2025. Now, I know that this video might be a little bit early since it's still September, but there is a very good reason for that, and that is that in addition to just show you my top favorite Halloween prints this year, I also want to talk a little bit more detail when it comes to the different colors, the different filaments, the different settings, and the different profiles you should use in order to have the best Halloween 2025 3D printing experience. And we will start right away with this Aztec death whistle, which apparently is gonna make a terrifying noise once you blow in this whistle. I was curious to see how does the bone white look compared to the normal white math. And just for comparison reasons, I also have one desert tan spool as well, which has been my go-to uh, skin tone. And uh, yeah, I don't know about you, but I do think uh, maybe not so surprising that the bone white is the most suitable in this specific case. And apparently this is an all the Aztec uh, item that the warriors would use in war in order to terrify their enemies. But I think we're gonna wait with actually trying this out until the end of this video, just so I don't terrify you enough so you click away before you see all these other top recommendations for Halloween 2025. I think I also need to clean up a little bit just so we don't get distracted and we do take everything in somewhat of an order, but uh, just be aware of that we do have some absolutely amazing prints coming up very, very soon. Now, full disclaimer, as a Swede living in Taiwan, I've actually never <laughs> celebrated Halloween myself. So if I am missing something super important, please be nice, but please also let me know by leaving a comment down below. But something that even a Swede living in Taiwan knows is that apparently you are eating or at least using a lot of pumpkins during Halloween. And I found this specific uh, Halloween pumpkin as a representation of just pumpkins in general, because in this video, I don't want to focus too much about the actual prints. Instead, I want to make comparisons so you can see in this case what kind of orange is most suitable for you when it comes to your Halloween pumpkin prints. And speaking about the same print but different types of filaments, Sunlu was so kind of sending me some of their absolutely amazing, uh, maybe not Halloween themed, but Halloween perfect glow in the dark filaments as well as their black and red jewel color filament as well. And I have to say, uh, this is not sponsored, they don't pay me for saying this, but if there's one single thing you should take with you from this video when it comes to Halloween 2025, that is to get your hands on some of this Sunlu glow in the dark filament, because this is absolutely amazing. I have no idea how this works. Uh, I don't really understand, <laughs> but this filament prints in, depending on how you're rotating the print on the, the plate in Bamboo Studio, I don't know if there is a way for you to tell how and where this is gonna print the different colors. I just went ahead and printed it and I saw that it was a little bit like 45 degrees uh, on the back here that was the most red. So I just uh, rotated this print later towards like the same direction. Another print where I also used the same glow in the dark filament was when it came to this Grim Reaper. And I might have gone a little bit uh, overboard here as well because I also wanted to try different kinds of black PLA filament. I would say 99% of the time it does not matter what kind of black filament you are getting because they all look identical, I would say. Did, however, had some very weird uh, artifacts with this uh, Polymaker Panchroma. I thought until I realized that this panchroma is not the previously known poly light PLA. Instead, this is the previous poly terra PLA. And the confusion was because I've been printing with Polymakers PTG. So I got a little bit confused in Bamboo Studio, accidentally used the wrong printing profile, but rest assured that this is not an issue with Polymakers PLA. Next print might be the most impressive print I have ever printed. Uh, until we're gonna talk about the second to last print in today's video. This forbidden fruit or this apple is absolutely amazing. And this is one of these prints that even after Halloween, this definitely deserves a fixed spot in my 3D printing studio because this is absolutely amazing. But if you do take a closer look, you might see that there are quite a few places where there should have been some extra support. And that is because I thought that I was going to be smart and use another profile than the designers himself. So I used the one with only the critical support, which I do not recommend 
recommend if you are gonna print this just go with the original design because there are quite a few places where I feel like uh, this could have been uh, much much better if I would have just been a little bit more patient and printed with all the support that the designer intended. Next print are these TPU coasters, which uh, is in the shape of some spider web, which is absolutely amazing as well, I think, to just have as, as coasters on the table during your upcoming Halloween party. I used TPU for AMS because uh, I do have uh, TPU for AMS. And uh, yeah, maybe I should have, again, taken the designer's advice and just printed this in, in pure TPU, uh, but it's not something that I have experience with yet. So I was a little bit uncertain if I wanted to take on that project. And if you are in the same situation as myself, wanting to print in a filament that you do not have access to yet, then I highly recommend checking out the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. Not only does PCBWay do customized PCBs, they can also help you with any kind of 3D printing needs that you might have. All you have to do is to upload your, for example, STL file to PCBWay, then you can choose the exact material and also the color of your 3D print. And speaking about these specific coasters in particular, this month of September, PCBWay do have a special TPU discount with up to 80% discounts on all their TPU prints. The more you order, or I should say the heavier you order, the more discount you will get. And if you do click the link down in the description, you will get an additional $5 off your first order from PCBWay. Next print is this Happy Halloween sign, which I also tried to print with this jewel color from Sunlu, but I honestly don't think that this turned out that well compared to like the original, just pure black, because it's a little bit weird that only like one side is red in this case. But looking back, I should of course also use the glow in the dark filament for this ghost here. I, I don't know exactly why I did not think about this, but I think that that could be an absolutely amazing little extra detail for your Happy Halloween. 2025. And we can of course not have a top uh, 10 or 12 or I don't even know how many prints we have in this video uh, without having some flexible articulated prints as well. Again, I say this every single time, but it is something magical with being able to print out articulated or movable uh, prints like this with these like hinges just being printed in place. You just have this lying down on the, the print plate and then just take it up and it's like done and you can like move around like this. I don't know how useful this is it's a little bit uh, difficult to like decorate with as well because uh, you need to have some kind of very special uh, place to have it to really like show it off I think. Another thing that I always recommend when it comes to 3D printing is to customize everything as much as possible. For example my wife is a yoga instructor and although she has already been super supportive through this entire 3D printing adventure she do appreciate these uh, yoga poses skeletons a little bit extra and uh, yeah again these are just the kind of things that just goes so much extra getting other people interested in 3d printing and realizing that you can literally make whatever you want it's only the imagination and your <coughs> 3d printing design skills uh, that uh, puts the limits but yeah maybe you do need to be interested in yoga in order to uh, appreciate these specific prints but uh, just go out on on make a world on printable on thanks on cults 3d and search for halloween plus whatever interest you or your spouse your partner or whoever you want to impress might have and i'm sure that you will find countless of ideas you never thought were possible and speaking about something that i never thought was possible this might be the most impressive 3d print i have ever printed now I printed this before I had the, the bone white filament from Bamboo Lab. So this is uh, printed in the matte tan version from, from Bamboo Lab. Uh, but honestly, this is absolutely amazing. And I might actually start uh, printing another one in uh, Sunloose PLA Glow in the Dark because this is absolutely amazing this is so cool i have had this here in my in my youtube studio i've had countless of guests here uh, who are not related to 3d printing who are related to my other youtube channel and they see 3d printing they see all the machines, they see some keychains, and they're like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then we are here in the studio for like an hour. I have this like up on the shelf and they're like, I just have to ask, why do you have like a skull? Like it's so out of place. It looks so weird here in the studio. I'm working on a Halloween video and they're like, this is 3D printed and it's, it's so detailed. It is so 
creepy to look at and this is just straight from the printer if you do uh, are interested and if you do spend some time to do some post processing as well uh, you can make some absolutely mind-blowing almost like criminal <laughs> results it, it should not be possible to make something like this from your own like bedroom in my case now i admit that this is a little bit of a commitment it is quite heavy requires quite a lot of filament and also it takes quite some time to print but that is the reason for why i'm releasing this video so early so you do have time to order that perfect color of orange that you might want and that perfect type of uh, white or bone white or or matte tan in this case to make sure that you do get that perfect color match for your perfect Halloween party and I forgot to mention um, this apple is also in the matte tan color from from bamboo lab which I think is the most accurate one when it comes to like inside of an apple 50% amazed and 50% and terrified and speaking about being terrified I think it's now finally time to actually hear this Aztec uh, death whistle uh, whistle once and for all. Oh my God. I, I was gonna say that they're quite small. They don't require that much filament. You can you can print one in like a, like a few hours. Uh, so this could also be like a gift. So if you hate your neighbors or just uh, hate your friends and you want to give some super, super annoying thing to your, uh, to the kids of your friends, then uh, this Aztec death whistle might be pretty high up on the list. Unbelievable. And something else that is just as unbelievable is that uh, there are quite a few people who don't subscribe to my YouTube channel. So uh, if you are watching until the end, if you do enjoy all these videos that I am making, show your support by liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And if you do want to see more videos just like this one, listing some top 3D prints that you should print right now. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Start with LS and like, ends with S, and subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.